Hello, this is Dennis Chang here. Welcome to my home. I'm a gypsy jazz guitar player and also produce instructional videos for my music online music school, DC Music School. And you're watching loudguitars.com. Hello, it's Mike Blackburn from loudguitars.com sitting here with Dennis Chang. Gypsy jazz guitarist extraordinaire and sole proprietor of DC Music who's just recently finished a very interesting project that he's going to tell us about today. Hi Dennis. Greetings. So tell us about your company where people can find this company online. So I produce instructional videos for what is called DC Music School and you can access this at dc-musicschool.com A project we're going to talk about is hot off the presses, just completed. I guess you traveled to San Francisco to finish this one. And we're talking about the one and only Jason Becker. There he is watching us today. Hey Jason, how's it going? And um, tell us about this project in particular, when you first had the idea for this one and how it came to fruition. Sure. So one of the first things that you'd have to know about me is that I've always had an interest in, in learning and teaching. So I've produced, prior to this, probably well over 20 instructional videos with other artists, myself included. And the way I do things is a bit different from other companies who do these kinds of things. I, I'm very big into authenticity and to get all the details right down to the, you know, the smallest of details to get everything, to exploit everything and show it, share it with other people. And as I told you, well, I didn't tell you, but um, this video is in three volumes because it is nearing almost six hours, almost six hours worth of instruction. We talk about every style relevant, everything, every little detail relevant to Jason's style. So I got this idea through a common friend of ours whose name is Max Dibel. Max Dibel, I've known him for almost 15 years. He's a Berkeley, he's probably he's graduated from the Berkeley College of Music and Composition. He's an absolutely incredible guitar player. He has amazing ears, and he understands music, which is, well, music from a theoretical point of view, which is quite rare for rock guitar players. And he's in a unique situation to, you know, in the sense that he's been friends with Jason for so very long, probably well over 10 years. And for these 10 years, he's worked very, very closely with Jason, you know, analyzing Jason's music, transcribing every part. He only, you know, he has access to the master tapes of Jason where he can isolate every single track and just figure out exactly what Jason was doing and of course Jason was there to help him confirm all these things so I thought hey why not document this and so I approached Jason and Max and they both agreed to do this and the rest is history and I guess Jason is probably pretty happy today that this is finally done and he can get Max off his back because I bet you in the past 10 to 15 years Max has been picking his brain almost daily for all the intricacies and details and the ornaments in Jason's style, which are many, and it's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. That's, yeah, that's exactly what I meant when I like to exploit all these little details. Jason is a, is a unique player in the sense that, okay, yeah, you know, he's got amazing technique, but there's more to it than, than just that. There are all sorts of little things that he does with slides, with bends, with intonation issues that make Jason who he is. And you might ask, well, for this project, why didn't I choose a famous guitar player to represent Jason? Well, that's the answer. I could have gone that way and just, you know, the idea is not to make a quick buck off of this. Of course, I'd like to make money, we'd like to make money, but more important for me is to have something really authentic. And I feel Max Dibel is really the, the one who's, the only one in the world who's come close to, of course, no one will ever replace Jason, but to understanding what Jason is doing exactly, right down to the tiniest of details. So for those that purchase this video, what are the chances that they can actually learn a lot of this stuff? Because Jason, as you said, is highly technical, very fast, very precise, very articulate, all of those things that really set him apart from many of the other shredders back then and, and even to this day. Well, it's funny, I just got an email yesterday from Jason, he watched some of the clips and he's like, wow, I like what you guys did with this, you're not teaching them to copy me, you're teaching them how to fish. So the idea here is not necessarily to copy Jason's style, but to be aware of what Jason did 
to to have the sound that he has. And um, if you go on YouTube, you watch a lot of covers of Jason stuff. They often have they nail it. They nail the notes. But there's always often a little something missing: slides, bends, little ornaments. And these are the things that we talk about in the video. Well, that's great. I, I really look forward to seeing it myself. And um, I guess during this process, you got to become pretty good friends with Jason himself and spent a lot of quality time with him. And just tell us what that experience is like for you. So, um, I'm actually a gypsy jazz guitar player, which has very little to do with Jason's music or this whole rock thing in general. But when I was growing up, Jason was one of my biggest influences, that's for sure. And of course, it's a tremendous honor for me to be able to work with him and to have met him. He's been nothing but patient, kind, and generous with me. So, he continues to be an inspiration to me. Great. Now, why don't you tell us about some of the other some of the other volumes that are available at your website, other styles and players that you've covered. Well, my website, I just launched this two years ago. Before that, I had been producing for other companies. So I decided, why not just do everything myself? And since then, I've released quite a number of products. I've been quite busy the past two years. Uh, well, my claim to fame, if you will, is through Gypsy Jazz, so there's a lot of that. But this website, I wanted... I'm, fairly ambitious with it, you know, I want to do all sorts of things, not just guitar, violin, all sorts of instruments, all sorts of styles. So there's, right now, there's some violin stuff, there's some gypsy jazz guitar stuff, there's some rock guitar stuff, there's another uh, shrapnel recording artist on my site, a uh, Serbian guitar player named Borislav Mitic. There's some finger style stuff uh, with famous candy rap recording artist Ewan Dobson, and hopefully more to come. And you, you might as well mention the, the famous violinist slash guitarist that you got on there who is amazing. Oh yeah, John Limburger is, uh, is a phenomenon. I, I urge everyone to just go on you, my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash School, and look for this guy, Charlie Limburger, who's uh, just an incredible musician. You'll, you'll flip out. And anybody who thinks they can finger pick or flat pick for that matter really ought to check out you and uh, sh shouldn't they? Yeah, Ewan's a childhood friend of mine, and I'm very happy that he's quite successful today. And actually, his, yeah, his technique is absolutely incredible. I've, I'm aware of pretty much all the guitar players in the world, but I've never seen anyone with technique like his, and that's, that's something. I've met him, uh, I got to interview him last year, he's a, he's a really cool guy, and very, very down to earth to speak with. Um, so. Through all of this, you are yourself a touring artist, you, you, and because of the, the type of music, the genre that you're, you're mixed up with, you, your travels are not like next door within Canada, you're all over the world all the time. So how do you, how do you uh, balance that with trying to run this business and make it a success at the same time? Must be a lot of sleepless nights. Oh man, it's extremely stressful, which is why after this Jason probably would take a little break, because yes, for since... August, I've been traveling non-stop, changing cities, changing countries on a near weekly basis, and it's taken a toll on my health. It's not easy. I bring my laptop with me everywhere, and I'm always working. So, what can I say? It's not easy at all. Where's the best place for people to check out some of your own performances? Um, first things first, I need to finish, I need to update my website. But, uh... I play, well, I play the Gypsy Jazz Circuit. Everyone who's in the know usually knows where those festivals are, but I'm always around. Otherwise, I tour around Canada, USA, Europe. Well, what's the next upcoming gigs for yourself? I have a few gigs in Asia, but one festival in the west of Canada, in Victoria, BC. There's a Django Reinhardt Festival on Valentine's Day weekend, I think. And for those that are interested in, in, in really starting to get into Gypsy Jazz, Where's a good place to start? Like, who's an artist to start with? <laughs> Django Reinhardt, for sure. There's also the Rosenberg Trio. One of my biggest influences back in the day was a young fellow named Jimmy Rosenberg, who unfortunately no longer really plays. There's Birelli Lagrin, Angelo DeBar, so many great players. On YouTube, you find so much, so much amazing, so much talent. Tell us about how many Gypsy Jazz guitars do you have and, and what brands? I only have one Gypsy Jazz guitar. It's made by a Finnish luthier named AJL, Ariyuka Luomaranta. Okay, so uh, I want to thank you very much and wish you all the greatest success with your company, with your performing career, 
and let's make lots of money for Jason people. Get yeah, out man. there, get out there and buy that stuff. It's it's awesome. He's he's definitely worth trying to emulate style-wise. That's all I got to say. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks.